Kentucky continues to set new records for COVID-19 infections, hospitalizations, ICU admissions, and ventilator use each day. And Governor Andy Bashir says the current surge is straining the state's health care system. And we cannot handle more sick individuals as our hospitals are, are, are at such a critical point. As of today, 60 of our 96 hospitals are reporting critical staffing shortages. And as of today, we have the fewest available ICU beds than at any point in this pandemic with only 90 adult ICU beds available statewide. That is the lowest number uh, that I can remember seeing during the course of this pandemic. And the lack of beds is not just bad news for COVID patients. Uh, Folks, our hospital situation has never been more dire in my lifetime than it is right now. That means if you get COVID and need to be hospitalized, there has never been a greater likelihood that there's not a bed for you or your family members or your friends. At the same time, it means if you were in a car accident today and you need emergency treatment, that that emergency room has never been more full than it is right now. As a result, the governor is drastically expanding the state's use of National Guard teams to assist local hospitals. So today, I'm announcing that along with the four hospitals that already have National Guard teams on the ground at their facilities, we're deploying and have authorized the deployment of an additional 310 soldiers and airmen that will be going to assist 21 more hospitals. They will assist with non-clinical functions within the hospitals for a maximum of two weeks. 10 to 30 members will be deployed to each facility next week. They are uh, helping again with the logistical and administrative support to allow hospital staff to focus on patient care. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. Local hospitals receiving National Guard teams include Highlands ARH in Prestonsburg, Tug Valley ARH in South Williamson, and Kentucky River Medical Center in Jackson. Pikeville Medical Center and Hazard ARH were included in the first round of hospitals. But while the National Guard members are providing critical services to hospitals, Governor Bashir says everyone has a role to play. So we've got to have everybody wake up. Now, there were too many stories of folks as they're about to be intubated saying, can I take the vaccine now? The answer is no. And we hope that you're going to get off that ventilator as opposed to the other alternative. If you love your region, if you love your neighborhood, if you love your neighbors, if you love the people in the community you live around, we need you to get vaccinated. We need you to wear a mask because your community hospital can't treat that next one of your neighbors that needs help without your help. Other measures the state is taking to deal with the surge include utilizing FEMA medical and EMS teams, assisting hard hit hospitals with testing, and sending nursing students to help staff hospitals in need of additional support.